in the realm of vintage television, where black and white frames whispered tales of a bygone era, there exists a gem that has timelessly held hearts in its laughter-laden grip. Picture this, the year was 1951, a time when television sets stood as portals to another dimension, where families huddled around in shared anticipation. And there, like a burst of joy in monochrome, appeared the Red Skelton Hour, a show that wove its way into the fabric of countless lives. Do you remember that very first encounter? The thrill of discovering Red Skelton's antics, his whimsical expressions that painted smiles across faces in a symphony of laughter. It was a rendezvous with a comedian who didn't just tell jokes, he painted comedic masterpieces with his gestures, his words, his sheer presence. The sketches, the characters, they weren't just on the screen, they were in our living rooms, becoming familiar faces we looked forward to, like visits from cherished friends. Ah, the memorable moments etched into the canvas of memory. Perhaps it was Clem Cadidal Hopper's baffling wisdom or Freddy the Freeloader's poignant charm. Maybe it was Junior, the mean whittle kid, whose mischief resonated with our inner child. And who could forget those hilarious routines with Gertrude and Heathcliff, where Red's impeccable timing made the absurd delightful. Now, let's dim the lights of nostalgia for a moment and shine a spotlight on some lesser-known tidbits that lend an extra layer of intrigue to this classic. Behind the curtains of the Red Skelton Hour, did you know that Red often ad-libbed his way through sketches, leaving the audience in stitches and his co-stars pleasantly surprised? And oh, the guest stars, from Hollywood legends to emerging talents, they all added their hues to the show's vibrant palette. So, as we peer through the lens of history, the magic of the Red Skelton Hour lingers, reminding us that laughter knows no era, and genuine mirth has a way of bridging decades. It's a reminder that television isn't just about screens and signals, it's about shared moments that transcend time. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of whimsy and wit that was the Red Skelton Hour. A show that stirred hearty laughs, kindled friendships, and left an indelible mark on the landscape of entertainment. As we dive into the mosaic of facts and tales about the show, let's unearth some sparkling gems that might have eluded even the most ardent fans. Red Skelton's behind-the-scenes humor, a look into the Red Skelton Hour's creative turmoil in the realm of early U.S. television. The Red Skelton Hour stood as a comedic cornerstone, but behind the laughter and whimsy, a tale of creative friction unfolds. The show, which aired from 1951 to 1971, captivated audiences with Red Skelton's endearing characters and slapstick humor. However, behind the curtain, Skelton's relationship with comedy writers was anything but amusing. Renowned for his portrayal of Freddy the Freeloader, Skelton faced off-screen challenges that colored his on-screen performances. The year 2009 saw him enshrined on a U.S. postage stamp as Freddy, alongside an array of beloved early TV programs. Yet, Skelton's offbeat working dynamics set him apart. He harbored an aversion to writers, a sentiment exacerbated by CBS's insistence on script collaboration. Skelton, adamant in his belief that no one knew his characters better than he did, wished to script the sketches himself. This stance placed him at odds with Sherwood Schwartz, who eventually became head writer for the show. A unique stipulation in Schwartz's contract prevented Skelton from discussing the script before taping, leaving the comedian in the dark until showtime. This twist of fate bred moments of unscripted brilliance. Skelton, caught unaware of his role or the sketched context, often broke character to address the audience with candid humor. As the show danced between CBS and NBC over its 20-year run, its humor reverberated across the nation. A patchwork of laughter and spontaneity, the Red Skelton Hour encapsulated an era's comedic essence, bringing both guffaws and insight into the intricacies of creative collaboration. In the end, Skelton's comedic legacy endures as an enigma wrapped in laughter. 1,951 seconds the Red Skelton Hour, a comedy enigma in the annals of television history. Few shows have left as indelible a mark as the Red Skelton Hour. Premiering in 1951, this comedic gem garnered attention for its enigmatic star, Red Skelton, whose relationship with writers provided an unexpected twist to the show's success. Skelton's genius was unquestionable, earning him accolades just four months into the show's debut. His mastery over the medium earned him Emmys for Best Comedy Show of the Year and Best Comedian. 
a testament to his innate comedic timing and uncanny ability to connect with audiences. A lesser known facet of the show's history was its sponsorship by S.C. Johnson Wax. This partnership not only provided financial support, but also underscored the show's popularity. The alliance between a household brand and a beloved TV entertainer spoke volumes about Skelton's appeal and influence. However, behind the scenes, an intriguing dynamic played out. Skelton's disdain for conventional writers was a well-known secret. He resented CBS's insistence on their involvement, driven by a desire to maintain creative control. Skelton's belief that he alone understood his characters culminated in his preference to craft sketches himself. This led to an unlikely contract clause between Sherwood Schwartz, head writer of the show, and CBS. Schwartz stipulated that Skelton was forbidden from discussing scripts with him prior to taping. This often left Skelton oblivious to the sketch content, and even his character until the 11th hour. Such behind-the-scenes tension inevitably bled onto the stage. Skelton's impromptu breaks in character and candid remarks to the audience became a signature quirk. Don't blame me, folks, I don't write this stuff, he would quip, a nod to his creative frustrations. In the end, the Red Skelton Hour remained a paradox, a show celebrated for its humor and charm, yet embroiled in creative clashes. It was a testament to the complex relationship between talent and production, a reflection of a comedic genius who sought to maintain a tight grip on his own artistic vision. In the ever-evolving landscape of television, where personalities and networks collide, the Red Skelton Hour remains a fascinating enigma, a blend of accolades and idiosyncrasies woven into the fabric of entertainment history. Comedic Marvel, the enduring legacy of the Red Skelton Hour, a cornerstone of early U.S. television, the Red Skelton Hour remains an iconic comedic series etched in the annals of television history. Spanning from 1951 to 1971, the show captivated audiences primarily on CBS, later making a brief appearance on NBC. The series' longevity can be attributed not only to its humor but also to its sponsor, S.C. Johnson Wax. A testament to its enduring popularity, the show's commemoration in a series of U.S. postage stamps on August 11, 2009, marked a significant moment. As part of the early TV Memories collection, Red Skelton, in his beloved Freddy the Freeloader persona, graced one of the stamps. This honor positioned the show among illustrious company, including I Love Lucy, The Honeymooners, and The Twilight Zone, showcasing its indelible impact on American culture. Sponsored by S.C. Johnson Wax, the Red Skelton Hour enjoyed unwavering support. The partnership not only underscored the show's popularity, but also highlighted the symbiotic relationship between entertainment and advertising during the era. This collaboration enabled the show's continued production and its lasting imprint on the comedic landscape. The Red Skelton Hour carved its place in the collective memory with an unparalleled comedic flair. Its journey from 1951 to 1971, traversing networks and leaving an indelible mark on television history, remains a testament to the comedic genius of Red Skelton and the timeless appeal of his characters. Red Skelton's unconventional comedy world, behind the scenes of the Red Skelton Hour in the annals of television history, few personalities have left as indelible a mark as Red Skelton. The legendary comedian, known for his unparalleled ability to elicit laughter, graced the small screen with the Red Skelton Hour from 1951 to 1971. Though celebrated for his humor, Skelton's behind-the-scenes antics and unorthodox creative process often proved equally captivating. Skelton's undeniable talent didn't take long to be recognized. A mere four months into the show's debut, he seized the Emmys for Best Comedy Show of the Year and Best Comedian. This swift ascent solidified his position in the comedic pantheon and foreshadowed a career that would stand the test of time. However, a less savory aspect of Skelton's legacy lies in his contentious relationship with his writing staff. He harbored a distinct aversion to collaboration regarding writers with palpable disdain. CBS's insistence on incorporating a writing team into the show's framework did not sit well with Skelton, who believed that no one understood his characters better than he did. Sherwood Schwartz, the show's eventual head writer, took drastic measures to mitigate this tension. His contract with CBS stipulated that Skelton was prohibited from discussing any aspect of the script before taping. This often left Skelton in the dark, unaware of the sketched premise 
or his character until moments before the cameras rolled. Such uncertainty prompted Skelton's spontaneous on-air admissions like, Don't blame me, folks, I don't write this stuff. For two decades, the Red Skelton Hour remained a staple on the airwaves, oscillating between CBS and NBC. This extended run cemented Skelton's status as a comedy virtuoso, while also underscoring the idiosyncrasies of his creative process. In the realm of comedy, Red Skelton's legacy burns bright. From his rapid ascent to Emmy stardom to his cantankerous rapport with writers, his impact endures. The Red Skelton Hour not only tickled funny bones, but showcased the intricate dance between a comedian and his craft. As the annals of television continue to evolve, Skelton's unconventional journey remains an ever-fascinating chapter. As we bid adieu to the tapestry of memories woven by the Red Skelton Hour, we find ourselves not merely witnessing the end of a television series, but standing at the threshold of a shared experience that has left an indelible mark on hearts and minds. This 1951 masterpiece isn't just a collection of episodes. It's a symphony of laughter, a canvas of timeless humor, and a testament to the magical connection that entertainment can forge. As you reflect on the anecdotes, gags, and slapstick that grace the screen, you might unearth a treasure trove of personal memories, each a jewel in the crown of your own journey. Maybe it was that one episode that had you laughing uncontrollably, or perhaps a poignant moment that caught you by surprise, reminding you that even in the world of comedy, there's a profound depth of emotion. The Red Skelton Hour wasn't just a show, it was a window into the human experience, painted with vibrant characters and a comedic finesse that transcended time. In its own way, it spoke to the universality of laughter, how it's a language we all understand, a remedy for the soul, and a bridge that unites us across generations. Now, dear friend, as you stand at this juncture, I invite you to share your own brushstrokes of memory. What were the scenes that etched themselves into your heart? How did the show color your life? Your experiences, thoughts, and favorite moments are the threads that continue to weave the legacy of the Red Skelton Hour. Thank you for journeying through these musings with me, for being a part of the tapestry, and for cherishing the laughter that this show brought to so many lives. Your thoughts are not just reflections, they are tributes to the lasting impact of a show that has forever earned its place in the grand gallery of entertainment. And now, as the curtain falls on this chapter, I bid you adieu with a heart full of gratitude and a smile that carries the echoes of the laughter we've celebrated together. Until we meet again to share more stories and explore more moments, keep those memories alive, for they are the stars in the night sky of nostalgia. With heartfelt thanks and warm regards, your name.